In 2010, a hurricane struck the Windward Islands, leaving a trail of destruction and bringing their banana industries close to collapse. Being a young farmer, never experienced anything such as Hurricane Thomas. And when it came about, it was just like disaster. I lost 100% on my land. I could see all, everything was going, my roof was going up and down. It's almost a year now, the water is still dirty. People cannot even use the water, you cannot bathe in the water, you cannot wash in the water. You see that big, that big thing there, that big wood there, that's from high in the forest. So it had a very negative impact on us. We couldn't export any burners, so everything was at a standstill. Parents, they would not be able to afford sending the children to school because um, there was no cash flow, there was no finance. You couldn't sit back. You've got to reactivate the fields. It was a question of spending and more spending without realizing any income for an extended period. The hurricane has been a major blow to the economies of St Lucia and Dominica. Agriculture accounts for around 9% of GDP and is the biggest form of employment in the countryside. Banana growers are abandoning their farms in increasing numbers. That experience with Thomas has everybody on a loot right now. Farmers are praying people now. As banana growers struggle to recover from the hurricane, a new storm is on the horizon that threatens to destroy the banana industry altogether. Europe has lowered its trade barriers, which means bananas from multinationals in Latin America are taking a greater share of the European market and squeezing out fruit from the Windward Islands. Prior to the removal of barriers, you had a guaranteed market, but um, these days are gone. With the removal of these barriers, it highlighted our vulnerability. Seeing that we are small farmers, and we do not have the, the, the money or the infrastructure to compete with the multi, multinational. With open competition, the Windward Islands cannot survive. The effect of losing their traditional markets is made worse by the global economic turmoil, which is further reducing farmers' returns on their crops. Being a crisis now, when the prices of the inputs go up, it's very hard on the farmers, and that is the most challenging time for farmers. The cost of labour to produce banana, the cost of inputs such as fertiliser, um, nematicides, packaging, and increase in competition and sudden change of uh, the standards because of globalisation also poses a challenge to us. There are just 3,000 active banana farmers left in the Windward Islands, compared to over 11,000 10 years ago. If the decline continues, experts fear unemployment and poverty will increase. There must be that business approach toward farming. One of the days when you come to the farm and plant only bananas, you cannot survive on only bananas. You must diversify. I'm not saying diversify out of bananas, but around it. So, like myself, I have bananas, but I have pineapples. I do all vegetables. I do all fruit cro um, root crop. There must be a business approach, or else we are going to have a serious problem with food security. We are going to have a serious problem with our economy. As well as diversifying into other crops, more farmers are turning to the fair trade scheme in the belief that fair trade is the only viable way to survive. We are unable, as microstates, as small producers, as small farmers, to compete with the multinationals. It will be impossible. The Fair Trade Labeling Organization has given us the opportunity to sell our commodity, our fruit, in a niche market. By guaranteeing a price above the cost of production, Fair Trade offers farmers hope for the future. I had not been for Fair Trade will not be able to sell bananas. So definitely there will not be an industry right now. Without the UK consumers continuing to purchase our bananas, certainly we are doomed in the Windward Islands. You take magic to bring it back to the way it used to be before. I know that. But I believe um, there is still hope. There is still hope, I believe so. I would like to believe there is still hope for us in the Woodward Island.